action. Wakurugenzi, this lady Sarah Connor, alikuwa a little bit unhappy. She was unhappy because mazemi yaka zilikuwa zimeenda sana. Uh, menopause was fast approaching. But unfortunately for Sarah and the husband, hawa kuwa meza kubarikiwa kupata mtoto. Uh, kila attempt mazemi ilikuwa ina fail, ina fail, ina fail. And it was starting to take a toll on her. Uh, Sarah's mother, Christine, alikuwa na watch too from a distance. Anaona vile mtoto wake anakula pressure, anakula stress. Akajiambia maze mimi kama mama mzazi siyezi kubali mtoto wangu wa umie design. So akakuja, akajitolea mhanga. Akambia mtoto wake Sarah ya kwamba mtu wangu. Eh, mtoto unajua hii mimba imekata kushika, lakini mimi niko tayari kukua hiyo surrogate. Unaonaje? Tusukume hii kitu. Of course, it came as a shock, uh, but wakamu, uh, you know, it never hurts to try. So wakapeleka uh, Christine Hospitali, who was now Sarah's mother. Na akapimu wakabisa na test. Zote aka ace. All. Finally, uh, the pregnancy was implanted in Sarah, and she was able to carry the pregnancy to term. Wakurugenzi, I don't know the accurate date or day, but... Uh, this lady, Kristen, was able to deliver a bouncing baby boy at the age of 67. Yes, see me ujiza hiyo. Lakini ni kona suwali. Sasa, uyu mtoto alizaliwa. Ye na Sarah, ni, 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 ni mtoto na mama yake? Ama ni mtu na brother yake? Like, what's the relationship there? Kuna ka technicality hapo, eh? Yeah. Tafakari ni iyo. Nani, situanza iki pindi basa. Hey! Mazea channel mpia kama kawa Leo mkurugenzi ya memach soda na tuna hiki top Ama wazifanani, unajua wanasumaga wanaume ni color blind Wachane gonga zifunda ndiyo misiskemani ya kiwa pale mta Awane mtu wake anagonga kitu By the way, jina ime stick, sikuizi kila mtu wana nitakimani See, I make name school Mtu wamekana hiyo jina tangu 1967, 63 wakati wa independence Haja waifa nye hiyo jina kitu mimi naichukua tu hivi revolution. Ah, guys. <laughs> I am awesome. Mm -hmm. Hata sijasikia vibaya. <laughs> Muko sawa lakini? Muko fresh? Very nice. Leo wakurugenzi nataka tuende moja kwa moja. Mbaka the island of Tonga. Hey, hey, haa ni wale watu wanaishi giuko inje ya dunia. Tonga, Samoa, haa watu wote the larger Australia. Sai hapa kwetu ni saa ngapi? Sai ni saa 5. Huko niko sure ni kesho asubuhi kitu kama saa kumi. Siji hawa watu wanaishi ngiaje. But anyway, um in Tonga mwaka wa 1965 kuna vijana wa sita pale walikuwa boarding school na kama ilivyo desturi ya boarding school. Boarding schools za zamani hata za zingine za sikuizi zime designiwa to suck the life out of people. My friend, unaka hapo wiki tatu, unasikia, you cannot take it anymore. Nasa hiyo time ni ya 14 weeks, maze. Ah, it's too much, too much, wena. Too much. So, ama boys, bana wameka pale shule, bana, ah, ya, ya, time imefika katikati, wanasikia uongo mbaya. We cannot proceed like this. Lazima tukule break, jo. Tujiondoe, tuende tukule lap, uko inje, nini, tuingie kwa maji, bahari. Tonga is an island, so uko, kila kitu ni kosto. Eh, bana, tuende tu steam off kiasi, alafu turu. Turudi. So ama boy wa sita wakaka pamoja. The oldest was 17. The youngest was 15. Na wakamua. Hei ni aje. Tukipata na mna ya kutoka. Tuende maziara kiasi. Itaweza. Awa. Kila mtu wakagri itaweza mbaya. Hei chui na katsia bana. Oh matro na wezi. 
so akaamua sasawa e, tutakulia hiyo kitu strategy tukipata design tu ya kutoka kwa hii island tunatoka kidogo tunaenda tunajivinjari kiasi then tunarudi sasawa sasawa wakaingia kitu inaitwa strategy waka discover kuna fisherman flani hapo mtiaji mbaya watu wampendagi mtu bure kabisa huyo fisherman ako na boat flani inaweza kazi mbaya it's a sailboat ukipandisha tu sails vizuri upepo ifanye mambo yake ah mna mnapiga safari yenu mufti sana so the boys waka agree huyo fisherman ndio mtu atakuwa raid yetu kutoka hapa eh tutachukua boat yake twende tupige malap kiasi ni nini nini then turu, turudi kila mtu ako sawa kila mtu ako sawa very nice kesho asubuhi machweo tukutane tuingie kwa boat tufanye mambo yetu The following day wakakutana pale wakiwa mtu sita hakuna mtu ameondokea wengine ah wote six wako pale wamepiga gwanda zao safi wakaenda wakapata boti kwa pale iko unattended ule fisherman yuko karibu kupiga piga darubini kando na kando wana discover wako peke yao hakuna mtu anawaona teke teke wakaenda waka sneak in wakaingia pale kwa boat wakaiskuma wakaiskuma mpaka ikaingia kwa bahari vizuri na wakaruka ndani na wakaanza safari wakurugenzi wakati unapiga safari ya maji kuna vitu mbili muhimu sana ukue nazo kitu cha kwanza ni map ha vijana map wako naye oh uh, uliwapea kitu ya pili ni kitu inaitwa compass lazima ujue directions eh hey, east ni wapi west ni wapi south ni wapi hawa vijana compass wako nayo oh uh, uh, uliwapea <laughs> hey, hey. teke teke wakaingia na wakaanza ku kusail pole pole zile sales zikapanda upepo inafanya mambo yake whether ilikuwa mufti like aso alikula stare kwa hiyo boat maze the whole day mpaka jioni kafika upepo inaenda tu pole pole hakuna pressure nini eh wana mark mahali wametoka mambo iko sawa hey there's just something that the ocean wave does oh the ocean waves do iko na a soothing effect unajua wakati kila kitu iko sawa ka wave tu ndio kana ni pole pole unasikia na chapa saidi ya boat kiasi ako ka sauti waga ka kuna sun effect maze unaweza jipata umeingia usingizi very fast so wakati ka sun kali set pale ka wave kanawapeleka fiti vijana wamekula kula tu samaki hapo wameshiba wote wakazima not even one of them alikuwa rada kuangalia hii boat inaenda design gani My friend, wacha usiku kuchache. Waves zikakuja ngori ngori. Oh, boat sasa inaanza kupelekwa left right. Ni kama ile time Jesus alikuwa amebeba disciples wan, wana panic huko. Vijana wako hapo ndio wanaamka wanashindwa kai rada. Maze wanaangalia wanaona wow 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 mpaka ile island wametoka kwa watonga haionekani. Hawana compass, hawana maps. So hawajui wako wapi. Wako tu somewhere huko in the open seas. Wakajaribu hata kupiga piga kona na boat waone kama kuna design water sail waone land nothing by the way after like two days ya ku drift huko ikawa hit wamepotea so mmoja akakama kuna brilliant idea akasema sasa kuna vile hizi upepo zao blow na hii upepo inaweza blow ikielekea towards shore flani so wacha tuone tu hii upepo itatupeleka hadi wapi juniko sure at some point lazima itatufikisha kwa shore somewhere my friend wali skumo na upepo for a total of 8 days on the 8th days this uh, on the 8th day these boys had drafted drifted a distance of 320 kilometers hiyo ni kama umpande boat uhuru park ujipate eldamaravin baada ya siku nane <laughs> hapo ndio ilikuwa mara ya kwanza au vijana waliona island so waliona island hivi wakajiambia this must be samoa hapa tumefika Samoa tushukuru Mungu. Wacha tuende tu dock kwa island kidogo tuvute vute pumps tukule strategy ya vile tutarudi wapi back to Tonga. Hiyo island walikuwa wamefika my friend haikuwa Samoa. Ilikuwa a very small island inajiita Ata. Ata vile iko maze very rough and rugged. So kutoka mali ni shallow waters mpaka mali hiyo island iko ni rocks tupu na ni zile rocks rough nini So as hawa watu wanakuja na hii boti yao kujaribu kudok ikagonga zile rocks vibaya sana. Kuna ile kitu waga inatumia ukisitia boat pale kwa maji kuna kakitu waga kana move hiyo ndio inapatiaga boat direction inaitwa rada. Rada kwanza ikapotelea hapo. Haya 
<laughs> Steve Wonder Award play. <laughs> so pale kwa boat pia kuna kogana ile anchor rope. Ile rope yenye inaandaka ina kutaka kudock unasukuma anchor chini. I think hiyo mawe na boat nini friction ziligonga hiyo rope ikakatika or something. Haya, sails for some reason zika fail to so hiyo boat ikakuwa rendered useless. Aiwasaidi wamejipata kwa island, hawana transport ya kurudi. Sasa ni ao na Mungu wao. So kutoka mali hii boti yao iliharibikia hadi kwa island pale ilikuwa kitu ka distance ya ka kilomita na kitu. So ikakuwa hapa mazee ni lazima wasimu 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 paka pale kwa island. So wakaanza kutoka one by one, one by one, one by one. In a couple of hours, what a six walikuwa washaingia kwa this island which to me establish ni utter island but them wanafikiria wako wapi? Wako Samoa. Haya, sasa wako kwa island pale it's inhabited. Hakuna mtu uishi huko. Kuna mtu amewachimbia bohol ya maji. Oh, oh uliwachimbia. So maji ikaanza kukuwa issue almost immediately. Maze maji haipatikani. But uzuri juu ni it's a coastal island kuna zile ma palm trees. Palm trees huko juu koko ma coconut azikosi. So vijana wakapanda panda huko wakavunavuna ma coconut, unavunja, unakunywa hiyo maji, hiyo coconut yenyewe unaikula. Bas, unahesabu siku chakula at least umepata coconut yako safi, unaendelea na maisha. Before long maze hizi coconut zikaanza kukua depleted sasa. Ni noma vijana wanarua coconut mbaya sana. Na hiyo coconut ndio source yao ya food na bado ndio source yao ya nini? Ya maji. Eh, ikasemekana hapa sasa lazima tuanze kureshon hii kitu otherwise tutakula ngori. Ha vijana walikuwa sita, eh, two of them I think walikuwa 17 juu. Siliwaambia range yao ni 15 to 17. So the older ones immediately walichukua roles za leadership. Moja mazee akakuwa ndio their spiritual leader, huko wana mambo ya maombi wako sawa. Then no mwingine sasa ndio overall leader and ndio anajua ni nini tutafanya, wapi ndio tutafanya, ni nini ni nini nini. So ikasemekana sasa hizi coconut kidogo zitazikisha itakuwa blanda but kuna mavitu pale zinaitwa sea birds kuna mabirds tu fulani zina kam zina patch hapo kwa island ni nini ni hey, mtu akada hizi birds mazee kuna vile jo tukichinja hiyo damu tunaikunywa hiyo ndio maji alafu hii nyama yake ndio nini ndio chakula but sasa kuna blanda kwa hiyo island moto inatoka wapi hawana sosi ya hit hata kidogo maze. so of course wakaanza ku employ zile tactics za mababu za kuwasha moto pale si mnajua hiyo design eh my friend it took them three months ndio pate hata hata kitu tu inaweza waka hivi yani iitwe moto ilikuwa ni ngori so for three months these guys survived on raw seabirds na zile coconut kiasi zilikuwa zimebaki ilikuwa ni normal At some point eh, one of the older guys maze alikuwa expedition zake za kuhunt hunt huko akitafuta hizo masibirds nini nini akateguka maze akaanguka unachiki island ni kikliff unafika pale kwa shore then ni kikliff mpaka hapa juu saa hapa juu ndio kuna vegetation na nini na nini so akiwa hapa juu kwa vegetation maze akateguka akaanguka mpaka huko chini so of course akapiga nduru wenzake wakasikia wakakaa pale chini wakambeba wakampandisha hiyo cliff hadi juu wakaenda wakapata mazee jamaa amevunja mguu wakaenda mazee waka employ tactics tu zao hapo wakamfunga mguu na tourniquet zile ma branches hivi na na makamba walitengeneza hapo na tree box ni nini, nini. Na within like a couple of months hiyo mguu ikarudi fit mazee ndio jo pia god anakuoga na watoto wachana tuna Haya so miezi tumehesabu hapa mwezi ya kwanza imeenda imeisha hakuna mtu amekuja hata hakuna hata boat imekaribia hiyo island imeenda imekaa imeenda mwezi ya pili ndiyo hiyo imekuja no one no sign of life in sight mwezi ya tatu ndiyo hiyo luckily for them on the third month ndiyo ile mambo yao ya moto ika come through finally they had fire ah furaha ilioje sasa zile seabirds zenye walikuwa naenda wana hunt huko sasa hawazikuli ro wakisha kunywa damu nini kila mtu anafila kwa sawa kukuchoma kanawekelewa wewe maisha inaanza kukuwa mufti deadly wale the older ones walikuwa wameshaambia wase hatuwezi ka nje so lazima tuanze ku construct mahao ki design so walikuwa wanatumia hizo ma palm leaves na nini wanapiga ile design wa giriama wanafanyanga kidogo kidogo kahao kamesimama now they had fire so hii moto maze immediately iliwaka on the third month haikuwai poa mpaka ile siku hao vijana walitoka kwa yule yani kulikuwa na wase wako on duty ku watch tu hii moto isijaribu kuzima juu eh hey, hii moto sasa ni lifeline so after the third month 
ndio jamaa ameumia lakini wako na moto wakaendelea tu kungangana ngangana 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 kidogo kidogo wakakamwa wakadiscover kuna ship flani na kam hiyo ndio ilikuwa ship ya kwanza wameona mazee wakaiona at a distance wakajaribu kuinua mikono wakapiga mafirimbi ni ni wanajaribu kusignal wale wase wa ile ship mazee wale wase wa kuiona so kwa ocean unaweza nikaa kitu iko karibu especially kaa ni kubwa but hiyo kitu iko far deadly hata upige nduru aje maze ni hard sana e, wase wasikie so jo akajiita meeting hapo akajiambia maze tumekuwa hapa ni karibu mwezi wa nne sasa e, ship imepita ni moja na umeona malio ship imepitia kama hizi ship zote zitakuwa zinapitia huko maze si hapo tumekula fire deadly hapo i think tumeumia jo so i think tuanze tu kukubali hii ndio itakuwa life yetu e tuishi tu design yenye itatumeke tukwe e, tukwe active fit ndio tusizembe unajua ukizembea kwa bush maze wewe una dead tu so wakaanza kuingia story ya zoezi zoezi nini wanacheza cheza ma games huko ndio at least wakuwe fit jo ku pale jungle life haya so wakaendelea kupiga kambi pale wakiwa one uh, siku moja tu wamechilchili hivyo wakajiambia maze island kuna vile ni bigi na atuje explore vizuri si kule kule malapu uko juu tuone ni nini ziko huku what not nini 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 so wakaanza kukula lapu uko pole pole maze kupanda huko juu ndani wanapata there's a whole abandoned village hiyo village ilikuwa around huko in the 19th century ma 18 something so apparently wale wasio walikuwa naishi kwa hiyo village huko huko ndani walitekwa na wasio walikuwa natafuta slaves unajua hawa lami walikuja na kitu ya slavery so walikuwa naenda kwa utoto wa islands wakiona kuna mandume wanaka fiti na wamadha wanaka wako sasawa mna tekwa nyi wote wana flatten kijiji mzima eh nyinyi mnaenda kufanyishwa kazi kwa mashamba zao huko majuu so at some point mazee wa zungu walikam wakapata wase kwa hiyo island wakaingia huko ndani waka invade anyone mwenye alikuwa anajiweza akawekwa kwa boat akaishia anyone mwenye yako anajiweza the sick the young the elderly walikuwa namaliziwa hapo wote so the entire village had been wiped out hiyo tunaongea huko ma 18 something so hapa 1965 as our vijana wanapiga ma exploration huko wanaenda wanaangukia hiyo village yote but ni ghost town hakuna mse hapo luckily for them wale wasio walikuwa naishi hapo more than 100 years ago walikuwa wanafanya ma, eh, farming farming kiasi na walikuwa na keep ma birds chicken so walienda wakapata maze kuku zenye aso waliacha zimekuwa tu wild chickens zina roaming tu huko zinataga mayai kila mahali nini nini aso walikuwa na farm ma vegetables na what not so ma carrots ziko hapo eh maze walisikia fit deadly wakaenda wakajenga hao wengine huko jusa zile hao wale villagers walikuwa wameacha zilikuwa zisha kuwa ruins So wakajenga hao wengine huko na wakaanza kuishi life huko. Sasa ni mayai. Wao ni mtu wa mayai. Mwambia ni gonge mbili. Ah, maisha safi. Sasa hiyo ndio ilifanyao wase wakaweza kupata nguvu ya kusukuma maze. sababu kutoka hapo the fourth month yote ilikuwa huko. The fifth month ilikuwa huko. Sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth yote bado wako huko tu juu maze for nine months aso alipotea from a certain boarding school in Tonga hawajawahi rudi nyumbani of course back in Tonga maze wase wamepani waliwatafuta after a couple of weeks maze ikasemekana watu ni kama wako wamededi the families waka hold ma funeral suko na hiyo story ikaishi hapo hapo wakiwa kama mwezi wa tisa hivi wakajiita meeting tena wakajiambia eh hey, na jo tulikuwa tumeamua jo tutaendelea hapa hivi na tuishi tu tuendelee na life but kidogo inachacha eh hey, mazee tutafute design tunaweza rudi tunaweza rudi mtaa kama ni possible to collect tu mambao mbao hapa nini tuunde raft fiti hiyo raft tuingie nayo kwa maji na since tuko Samoa if we sail south tutajipata Tonga vijana wakajiambia ya hiyo iko sawa kabisa wacha tuunde raft yetu safi tuingie kwa bahari tujaribu ku sail south tuone ka tutarudi Tonga ama mahali tu karibu na Tonga so wakaanza maze shughuli ya kuunda raft yao safi raft inaundwa saa sawa wakaifunga na zile makamba wametengeneza na tree box ehe kila kitu iko fiti wakashuka nayo kutoka kwa huko juu kwa island wakashuka nayo kwa cliff mpaka chini kwa bahari wakapiga prayer sababu usiniliwasho wako na mpaka mtu wao wa maombi maze so wakapiga prayer yao safi wakambia god our guide hawa nataka tu kurudi home tonga jo this is nine months after us so disappear 
So once wameshamaliza kila mtu uko sawa, wakaruka ndani ya ile ile raft na wakaanza kujaribu ku sail south. Wadau bana hiki tu hata kilomita moja. Mazai kasambaratika huko. Ah, sijui ligonga jiwe ama ni nini ili happen. Hiyo raft kaishia hapo. They had to swim back baka kwa hiyo island ya Ata Maze. So wakarudi kwa island jo very disappointed wanashindwa man. Eh hey, najua tulipiga blanda jo kukuja hii ni yote. Hey, but God si anatupunish sana jo. Hata tushasikia. Hii kitu angetuweka tu hapa wiki moja tu learn lesson na turudi. Maze it's been nine months tuko hapa. Ah ilikuwa ni, ni normal deadly but wakajipatia tu nguvu wakajiambia you know what? I think wacha tukubali to the fact that we are here to stay. Let's get comfortable guys. Kama tume make 9 months, ai 40 years ni kitu itatushinda kweli. Ah, tunganganeni guys. Wacha tupambane, tuvumilie. So wakarudi back to the island na wakaendelea na shughuli yao. 10th month, 11th month, 12, 13, 14, months wako tu huko kwa jungle washakuwa wabigi juu wanapiga activity huko ma exercise kuishi kwa jungle already ni gym so aso wanaanza ku body build wanakuwa wabigi so zile nguo walitoka nazo shule 15 months ago zishakuwa ndogo zinawafinya deadly so wamezitoa sama raia wanatembea gatu ndethe huko kwa island by the way juu sawa tafaa nini hawana nguo nyingine <laughs> wanatembea gatu ndethe huko kwa island So after some time hapo washagonga 15 months eh, ka wiki kashaenda kuisha ka kwanza ndio mazesi kumoja jo akiwa shughuli zao hapo mmoja wao anaangalia from a distance anaona wait a minute mazee kuna fishing boat na kam na zile ship moja mbili tumeona tukiwa hapa kuna vile zilikuwa zinaenda like the sailing further away from us but this fishing boat first of all ina kanika ina to face na inaka inaenda ikikuwa big meaning ikitu inakam i think inakam kwa hii island we 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 wacha wanaume waende hapo kwa edge ya, ya cliff maze waanze kupiga manini wanainua mikono wanaitana maze kwa hiyo fishing boat kuna an australian fisherman anaitwa tana tana ako hapo na kijana wake maze wanapiga piga tu maraundi eh huo kijana akamshow eh maze boss Sijika umesikia but mimi nasikia masauti zikitoka kwa ile island huko. Tunaweza finya finya hivyo kiasi twende tucheki ni nini. Tana jua na jua hiyo area fit akawaambia eh bra usijaribu. Wale wase wamepiga mablanda kwa hizi neighboring islands. Eh Samoa, akina Tonga nini uwagawana hepajela wanakamu wanaanza kuishi kwa kwa hizi island sababu wanajua huko hakuna mtu atawafuata the island is inhabited hakuna msi atakamkuwafuata huko so most probably ani ni majangili na wanataka tuende hapo watu pore eh ndio waendelee ku survive kwa island huko eh but mzee kitu inaambia huu oh, kijana pakano mzee eh, we tujaribu tu twende tu tuone tusikize tu, you never know tu, unaweza pata by the si matapele vile tunafikiria So Tana reluctantly akadai aina mambo wacha tu tufinye so akafinya boat ikaenda ikakaribia island na true to the guys word akapata hao vijana wako hapo wana nini mikono mazee wakiambia ni aje vile tu hasa walikaribia wale maboys hata wakungoja wali shuka kwa cliff very fast wakaingia kwa maji ni kuanza ku swim we imagine mazee uko tu mahali uko shughuli zako za fishing unatokea karibu na ki island alafu umatia mandume sita wanakamu wakiwa ndeve wakipiga nduru hata kama ni wewe si utapanic lazima utapanic so mzee tana kwa hapa anaangalia boy wake anashindwa mti wangu <laughs> uko sure unataka tume ile ile wase wakia akamwambia wewe wacha wakam hii ship yetu ni big before tu waingize tu wahoji kwanza hapo kwa maji tujue rada yao ni gani ndio tujue kama tunawachukua ama hatuwachukui so tana akati wale vijana waka swim wakafika mpaka hapo chini mzee kwa kwa ship man wamepiga wa ma thank you ka 150 Sotana na uliza he nyinyi kina nani rada yenu ni gani uzuri au vijana mazee wangeza ongea fluent english so akaambia mu australia hapa jo we kama tuchachia 15 months ago tulihepa shule mazee tonga tukakamna na boat fulani hiyo boat ikafika hapa mazee ikaharibika hatukuwa na design ya kufanya nini ya kurudi 
So tumekuwa hapa bana for 15 months. Tumekula ngori my friend tuko mbaya. Tunaomba tu utupatie lift uturudishe Tonga tafadhali. Watu wetu wako huko wametutafuta niko sure sahi wamekula depression huko mbaya sana. Eh tena na scary story maze very intriguing. Lakini kuna ku take chances ikabidi apige radio pale aka radio eh, coast guard wa Tonga. Akawaambia eh hey, ni aje? Niko kwa island inaitwa Ata. Na kuna vijana wa sita wako hapa wako ndeve wanadai kuingia kwa ship yangu na mimi siwaamini jo. Mnaweza kwa by any chance mlipota za vijana sita huko some 15 months ago. O operator akamwambia tulia tu kidogo acha nipige e, niulize ulize ya lafunda kusho. So after like 10 minutes simu ya tana pale ndani ya ship inalia. Mazee anachukua hivi wase wanapiga nduru the other side. Oh my god, oh my god, you found them. Thank you very much. Hao ni vijana wetu. Mazee walitoka hapa some 15 months ago. Tulikuwa so sure wamededi. Mazee tulikuwa tunajua hata tushafanya tusha mafuneral tumewazika. Wow, mazee please turudishie tu hawa watu hii. Wamekula fire deadly kama wako alive mpaka leo. Eh hey, so tana kaona okay ah vijana wanaweza kuwa wanasema ukweli before hata simu ipige aliwaonyesha picha ya queen wao akauliza huu uh, mnajua mdem ah huu ni queen wetu but lazima ange verify ndio kwa maana alipiga simu huko kwa kwa nini so now amepata verification ah kila kitu iko mufti so wakarusha ile rope net niliwaambia kwa ile story yetu ya ule soldier wa US vijana wakapanda ndani ya ship Eh, tana akaingia huko ndani akawatafutia tunguo wajifunikie angalau kidogo na akafinya ship yake mpaka wapi mpaka Tonga so now between phone call kutoka Tonga hadi kwa ship eh, na hawa vijana kuko rescued na kurudi news ilikoisha spread around Tonga kwamba wale vijana walipotea wamepatikana wako on the way back nice Mnakumbuka nikiwaambia vijana walienda wakachukua boti ya mse wakaenda naye. Na mnakumbuka adjective nilitumia kwa umje, umjama. Nilisema ni nini? Ni mutiaji kuruka. Alisikia tu vijana wamepatikana immediately. Police akaenda akaambia makara musi jaribu kuachilia watoto. Wameniibia boti yangu for 15 months sijakuwa na kazi. Hata sijui sijakufa njaa aje. Ya, wekeni hao vijana ndani. So maze bot eh, ship ya tana inaingia hivi pale kwa show. Ai, hata before familia waende wahagu watoto, polisi walikuwa nao. Kongo kuja hapa, ingia hapa. Gari Mariam very fast. Wakawekwa ndani. Take take mpaka mpaka police station. Of course after 24 hours ni kuingia kotini. Kotini si ni very fast. Nyinyi ni wezi. Wakaingia ndani before hata wazazi wasikie. Pale tana alikuwa shaenda home aka organize bash this is a, this is phenomenal like have jana me survive 15 months huko ah na mimi ndio nimewa rescue lazima tu tupige sherehe maze pigia yani ya kama perform lazima tupige sherehe acha organize sherehe nini nini kila kitu iko sawa mbuzi zinachomwa kidogo na shanga mbona vijana wafiki So of course anapiga ma communication kule anauliza ni aje jo eh hey, bana si nilikuwa nimeshoa sawa kama bana tuji tuji noise tusikie fiti anaambiwa oh you kusikia mazo li drop to us hivi wakaingizwa kwa Mariamu kama ameenda ah sawa jai achiliwa in fact wamehukumiwa wako jail as we speak ah hiyo story kabo tana mbaya but tana ni mlami na walami kupata financing na kuoga quick quick akaenda ka pitch tu idea ya documentary akaambia ni aje eh hey, mimi vile mnaniona hivi mimi ni celeb mbaya sana nimeokoa mavijana wa Tonga pale wa sita kwa island flani sasa hivi ni big deal deadly in fact mpaka queen wao amenipatia ruhusa ya kupiga fishing kwa island yao vile nataka so mimi nataka munipatie funding sababu nataka nipige documentary ya vile nili rescue yao vijana Ah itakuwa fire. Hii hii mtapenda. So of course funding ikatoka walami wanapenda hizo vitu mbaya. Oh yeah give the boy money. So akageiwa do. Hiyo do ndio alienda akachuna akaingia pale Tonga mazee haraka fasta akalipa bail hawa se. Eh hiyo fine walikuwa anahitajika kulipa au vijana wote wakaachiliwa. And for the first time after 15 years wakakuwa reunited na family yao mazee. It was amazing. Um Tana maze akaweka vijana pale kwa ship juu eh hey, ameshachukua pesa ya documentary. Hii documentary lazima ifanywe. So akaweka kwa ship yake wakarudi back to the island and they were able to reenact how they were able to survive the entire 15 months. 
kukutana na crew yake waka recordi nini nini and they uh, cut it down to a 9 minute documentary unfortunately your documentary copies zote zilipotea but there's one copy remaining i think iko youtube mkitaka mna zaingia pale youtube muichungulie ni dakika tisa tu peke yake yep na hivyo ndio vijana walipona bwana so mambo ikaishia hapo wakarudi nyumbani vizuri Uh, of course sahi ni wazemba ya uh, kama alikuwa na rescue ya 1966 wakiwa 18 years hey my friend hata sijui kama wako hai sahi maybe hiyo ni assignment na fam- ni wapatie monitafutia hao vijana mjue kama bado wako tana ndio na suspect ali pass away around 2016 if i'm not wrong yeah cuz he was way older than the boys but i think the boys should be there ni vile tu waishi tonga siku hizi kuna wenyewe wako australia wengine wako us wengine wako i think uk yeah maze but eh uh, ilikuwa ni survival story moja wagu and by 15 months in the jungle hamna kitu like ina wachukua 3 months kuasha moto pekee aya asali mandume sisi ukatuacha huko eh sd <laughs> Hey, mnakimbiza tu mwili baada ya wiki mbili je sasa nimezoea kugongewa mayai hapo na mtu wangu wa mayai alafu mnanitupa huko naanza kukaa ndeve hapo pneumonia inanifanya ile kitu ah no i can't mm. hapo ndio tumefungia kazi wadau kama imekubamba ambia mbogi wakam wachungulie hii channel yetu mpya link no link nitaiweka kwa hiyo channel nyingine yeah but tuna need kukua wengi naweza taka tufikie wale uko ni 400 and something thousand. Hiyo ni kitu ya kutushinda kweli, guys. Tuchangamkeni. Sasa wadau, nimekuwa true sana. Adios muchachos. Peace. Mm. Ah. Love it.